So my name is Jeremy Stafford from Green Screen Photo Booth. I'm so excited today. We have Chuck from What's Up Chuck. So I'm going to let Chuck introduce himself. Tell a little about yourself, Chuck. Hi, everybody. I'm Chuck Field. What's up, Chuck? And this is uh, my right-hand man, Ziggy. Say hello, Ziggy. Hello, Ziggy. And uh, we're, we're out here in uh, North Phoenix and enjoying the weather here. We're, I'm a comedy ventriloquist. Is that what you do? That, that is what I'm doing right now. Do it. No. I'm a comedy ventriloquist, and uh, I entertain audiences of all ages, sizes. I might be in the middle of a, a living room in the morning and uh, a theater in the evening. Awesome. So, Chuck, share us one of, kind of your glory stories, like uh, an event you did that was just amazing and things were great and kind of just you really shined. Well, it, it, it's kind of in two different categories. In one respect, I, I had the opportunity to perform on, uh, for, on Carnival Cruise Lines years ago. And, you know, I, uh, even uh, there were 2,200 people watching me at the time. And it was just pretty cool to be able to do that. And uh, I've entertained uh, camp. I do camps all over the country, schools, corporations. And what's kind of cool is that I bring audience members up and make them the stars of the show. And uh, so what I, I've done is sometimes I'll bring the CEO of a corporation up in tandem with the new hire of the company that most of the people don't know. Right. And, uh, and I'll have the, uh, uh, the, uh, the new hire dissing the CEO and or in, a, in a nice way and uh next thing you know after the show's over people when he goes to work the next day everybody knows him and everybody likes him and i've been told that their careers have elevated because of something as silly as that and on another note uh which isn't in front of an audience it's where i've uh, been called up and somebody will call me up and say there's a kid in the hospital with stage two cancer and uh, uh, he could really use some some uplifting. Can you come out to the hospital with Ziggy? And uh, I'll do that. And uh, uh, I've seen him go from very dark, tired, to as we're joking around with him, they start to sit up and their eyes light up and color seems to come back in to him a little bit. And it becomes a, a you know, a, a, a turning point uh, that they seem to emotionally get a little bit better. I guess uplifting is a good word for that. So yeah, those are some of the things that really stick in my mind when I can make a difference in somebody's life like that. Awesome. So one of our friends, uh, Scott Favor, likes to say that you can be better or you, you can be better or you can be best or you can be different. So how are you different than everyone else? How am I different? I'm do different because I'm, I do these kind of things all day long. Like if, if, if it was Jeremy Stafford's birthday, it's instead of, uh, instead of just typing on Facebook, happy birthday, dude, I go, we would do something like this. Hey, you know what today is? What's that? It's Jeremy Stafford's birthday. Is he still alive? Yeah, of course he is. Oh, that dude, I love that guy. He, green screen photo booth. Wait, we'll, 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 we'll have a little fun. And, and, and I get, uh, so this way people see me more regularly. And I, and, and I don't think other entertainers like us are doing those kind of things. Uh, I also, what I try to do is I try to treat the audience like they're in my living room. You know, I, I started doing this at 10 years old, Jeremy. And uh, uh, I, so as, as some people started doing this in their 30s or 40s and in front of big audience. So, so I started doing this in living rooms where there were six or seven people and the, the doorbell would ring and the phone would ring. And so I kind of, I, I call my method the living room method. Nice. So no matter how many people are watching, I treat it like I'm, the, you know, that it's a, that it's a small uh, crowd, even though there's a lot. And I try to, en I, I really try to engage with the audience, not just do a presentation. Right. Awesome. And so one last question is kind of what's one piece of advice you'd give someone looking to hire a professional? Um, well, see, well, if you're going to go online, try to see if you can find more than just the three minutes of, of of video that you can see if you can find a lot of different things, look at the reviews, which, uh, but you know, mainly I, I believe talk to the person, engage with the person you're looking to hire. You can learn a lot about uh, an entertainer by their personality. Like for me, 
Um, I love to talk. If I can make some, I'm not goofy and want to make people make jokes all the time. But if I'm talking to someone and, and I can get them to chuckle or laugh as part of our conversation, we're engaging with each other. And, and usually I'll get hired because, you know, people want to do business with people that they can trust and also people that they like. And I, and I try to be in that category. What is it exactly that you do? I'm a ventriloquist. You're a hypnotist. <laughs> or hypnotist. I'd be putting Jeremy to sleep right now. You're good. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, the best. <laughs> you. Thanks so much, Chuck Sasha with Ziggy. It was awesome. And my web and my website is what's up, Chuck .com. Yeah, and if you look on the comments below, we'll have uh, Chuck's email and his contact information. So if you want to talk to Chuck or Ziggy, you know, shoot him an email, text, call, you know, kind of all the basics. And don't I screen all the calls. <laughs> you do? Awesome. I do. And don't forget, um, like and subscribe to the channel and that little bell. Click on that so you get notifications of their vendors. Thank you so much, Chuck. Thanks so much, Ziggy. Thanks, Jeremy. All See right. you later, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome.